Hello everybody, welcome to The Informer. Uh, we're going to be doing a segment now called uh, Mage Meta Monday. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, every Monday, I'm going to try to uh, upload a video that's specific for mages. Uh, whether it be uh, character reviews, ability reviews, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's going to be based, again, strictly around mages and building a mage meta party. Uh, so today, for the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the uh, uh, five highest magic stat characters we have access to right now. <clears throat> now this is of course according to the uh, official strategy site, uh, which I will go ahead and post a link down below. I'm assuming you guys have probably already all been there, but just in case. <clears throat> so uh, in order, we've got uh, Shantoto, we've got Maria, we've got Terra, we've got Renoa, and we've got Krill. Uh, now Shantoto is on top with 226 magic. Uh, the other four, actually, Maria, Terra, Renoa, and Krill, are all, all tied with 217 magic. So uh, if we're just going to base it straight off magic stat, <clears throat> we're going to go with Shantoto. But we got to look into the characters a little bit deeper. Uh, so we're going to start out with Shantoto, and uh, she's got some interesting things. Um, now aside, I'm not going to talk about their equipment at all, because they can all equip rods. And uh, if you're running Black Mages, uh, they're probably going to be using rods. Uh, unless you're, uh, of course, working with synergy items. And that's a whole different story. <clears throat> now, all of these characters have access to at least 5-star black magic, or 6-star, if you've completed either Ultima or uh, Meltdown uh, Nightmare Dungeons. So, uh, what what I'm seeing for Shantoto here, uh, we're going to talk about her important things, as well as the other characters, but I, what I feel personally is most important about these characters um, Shantoto has, uh, uh, via her record dive, has access to, uh, Darkness 4, and, uh, also a 6% increase to her black magic damage. Now, the Darkness 4 is interesting because it gives her access to, uh, Memento Mori, uh, which, of course, will give you, uh, an additional magic buff, which is fantastic. Um, her record materia is a moderate, uh, black magic damage increase when equipping staves. So, that's, uh, you know, goes alongside with, like, Cloud's moderate damage when equipping swords, etc., etc., uh, what I find most interesting about Shantoto is that she has a unique soul break that, aside from the damage that it deals, uh, will reduce uh, her offensive casting time for five turns. Now, that can make a big, big, big difference in your DPS. Uh, anyone who's had any experience with an Ununite Burst Soul Break knows uh, firsthand that a Swift Spell reducing the, uh, the, the cast time, uh, well, in his case, making it instant, uh, reducing your cast time makes a big, big, big difference. Uh, so overall, if you, especially if you've got her Soul Break, uh, I would definitely suggest you running her in your mage team for sure. Um, she is one of the, the few characters, uh, one of the few mages who does have access to level 99. Um, although we are getting more and more, so uh, that's not necessarily something you should be basing anything on at this point. <clears throat> and I'll move on to uh, Maria from Final Fantasy 2, of course. Um... Now, her, her record dive will give her access to a four-star white magic, which is cool. You can always you know, throw on a protect or a shelga, depending on your setup. Also, will give her a 6% increase to her black magic damage. Um, from what I've read, in my opinion, uh, all her record material are totally useless. Um, the, the best thing about Maria, in my opinion, of course, uh, would be her burst soul break. Um, the first command uh, deals single target earth and non-elemental damage up to six hits depending on the uh, the caster's magic and her second her second uh, command will deal two AoE hits of the same element but will also boost her magic uh, it lowers her defense and boosts her magic in the same way advanced lowers attack and boosts def uh, I'm sorry in the same way advanced lowers defense and boosts attack so that magic boost is actually stackable with uh, everything else except for soul breaks that buff magic and defense obviously uh so it will stack it will stack with your edward shout well you know your your edward made shout it will stack with any night burst soul break it will stack with a uh, celeste burst soul break whatever <clears throat> um and i've personally i've used this as a roaming warrior in the uh cash one keep final fantasy 2 moat dungeon uh as a you know on a suggestion from a, a good friend of mine I use that, and after uh, on my Onion Knight, and after uh, a party magic buff plus the magic buff from that, 
Onion Knight was capping AoE on every hit. It was insane. It's crazy. Okay, uh, number three, we've got Terra. Now, what's uh, most interesting for me, personally, about Terra is that uh, one of her burst commands is water and non-elemental. And uh, yeah, water and a burst soul brick for a mage is pretty rare. As far as I know, in the JP version, there are only two. Uh, one of them being Lulu, I believe? I'd have to double check that, but uh, yeah, there are only two mages with a, a water command on the burst soul brick, so it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, she does have access to summon five. And her record dive will give her a 6% increase to uh, summon and black magic damage. Uh, her record materia gives her a moderate magic increase. And this is a general increase. Uh, you know, it gives you a, a, a moderate increase to your magic in the same way that you get a moderate increase to your damage with a, uh, with Shantoto or with, a, with Cloud, something similar. Uh, again, the the number one thing for her is that uh, her second burst command is water and elemental, so it gives you a little bit of a little bit more water uh, element with your mage team. Uh, number four, we've got Renoa. Now her burst soul break is pure damage. It's it doesn't have any gimmicks. There's nothing on top of it. It's just like clouds. Four single hits, two AOE hits. Uh, they're both ice and non-elemental. I'm sorry, ice and earth. And uh, I mean the damage is decent. The entry damage is okay, but the uh, the command damage is pretty decent. Um, record dive will give her access to uh, staves, and it will also give her six per six percent increase to black magic and summon damage. Um, her uh, record material are all based on damage. Her third one is just like her second one; it just gives a, a larger increase to your magic damage. Um, <clears throat> it specifically says increases the damage dealt with black magic spells. Um, so this would apply to anything that's considered black magic. Some some burst soul breaks are, um, as opposed to Terrus, which will increase your magic. Renoa's increases your magic damage. Um, uh, the difference being, uh, Renoa's will increase only your damage dealt with black magic spells, whereas Terra will increase all of your damage based on magic, including summons, etc. Uh, and last, but of course not least, we have Krill. Now. Uh, for me, the most interesting thing for her is Sheep Song. Um, that's uh, one of her soul breaks, and it gives uh, AoE, a 30% increase to magic, a Faithka, plus haste, AoE, of course, Hastega, uh, plus AoE major regen. Uh, it's really, really, really good. If you've got this, you've got the making for a mage party. Even with a single Faithka, you can, uh, I mean, you can be, I don't even know, I don't, I don't know any numbers or percentages, but I've seen, uh, you know, I've easily seen your DPS double with a single faith guy. Uh, so it just depends on how you play, really. If you, but if you've got Krill's, uh, Krill's Whip with Sheep Song, I highly recommend that you give a, a mage team a try if you haven't yet. Uh, she does have access to uh, Black Magic and Summoning 5-star, of course. Uh, something else really interesting about Krill, actually, is that her record dive will give her access to instruments and 4-star bard abilities, which uh, most people will be saying, oh, it's not a big deal, who cares about instruments? Yes, instruments are garbage. Don't worry about those. The important, start, important part is that it gives her access to four-star bard, uh, which can uh, give her access to Protectica and Shelga in the form of the, uh, the bard abilities. Uh, her record dive will also give her a 6% increase to black magic and summon damage. Uh, so that, that seems to be a, a consistent thing with mages. They'll get... Uh, you know, definitely a black magic damage increase, and if they have summoning, they'll get an increase to that as well. Uh, yeah, so so that's all I've got on those guys. Now, I'm going to rate these. Uh, I'm going to say, for me, number one is Maria. Uh, number two is Krill. Number three would be Shantoto. Number four would be Terra, and number five would be Renoa. Now, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, the reasoning, the reason being, <clears throat> Maria has, with her burst soul break, of course, has a self-stacking magic buff. Uh, it's hard to find in some cases, but uh, it's it's uh, it's a prize, really. It's it's irreplaceable on a ma on a mage team as a self-stacking magic buff. Magic buff. So uh, we're gonna go with Krill number two because of Sheep Song, plain and simple. Number three with Sean Toto because access to Dark Four and Memento Mori, plus the uh, reducing the cast cost for five turns. Excellent. Number four with Terra for water damage. And number five with Renoa as she has nothing special, just 
pure black magic damage. But, uh, again, damage is decent. I've been using Renoa for a long time. So, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. You know, leave some in some interesting information in the comments. I'd love to hear uh, your experience with a, a mage party, and if you've got any interesting mage relics. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message. Uh, you know, leave it in the comment. What have you. All right. Have a nice day.